Previously on Camel Guys Detail Garage. We got me and Henry here. We have this Can-Am, which is super muddy. So the reason why he's rinsing down the wheel and tires just to knock off any loose grime and debris. So this is just going to be clean up the face wheel. And as you guys can see, I am going fast. And then to get into the nooks and crannies, so the board share detailing brush is going to allow me to get into the lug nuts. It's going to get me, allow me to get into the valve stem. The choice of soap that we're gonna be using today is going to be Tough Mudder. You guys can see that Joey already did an amazing job at switching out the buckets. Provided us two brand new dirt traps. That's right, two brand new dirt traps. Our foam cannon today, which is going to be the Big Mouth Max Freeze foam cannon. So it's very simple to use. Just remove the head from it. Get your choice of soap. Add some soap. One, two, three. I'm gonna give it three good squirts just because this vehicle is obviously muddy and I want high amounts of foam, I'll put the lid back on and then I'll just twist it to the right. Once it's already tight, don't over tighten it. If not, you're gonna be like Joey, that you need your pickle jar open. You guys can roll the clip right now. Joey actually got the foam cannon stuck and I had to come out here and save him. Oh, we need Henry on set. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Wow. Chill. <laughs> Joey just got his pickle jar open, bro. So don't be like Joey, just once it's tight, it's tight, put this off to the side. Now we'll get our dirt traps, insert them at angle to prevent it from floating. Rinse, wash, right Joey? Always dedicate one bucket for one of the other. So in this case, we use two different color buckets. That way we don't confuse ourselves. Like with the wheel ones, we have two black buckets. In this case, we have one red. Rinse, wash. One more time. <laughs> Rinse, wash. One more time. Rinse, wash. Now this I feel one. like I'm a little kid. Now this I'm one. in kindergarten. Nice. Wash, rinse. Rinse, wash, wash, rinse. All right, so we'll be adding one, one ounce of soap into our wash bucket for added lubrication. And wow, you bought me something furry. So Joey went ahead and got us the furry five fingers. The furry five fingers is an awesome glove to have in your arsenal. I mean, you could dust surfaces off your interior. You could wipe down intricate areas. You have five fingers to play with. You get in the nicks and crannies. You could finger stuff. You clean your exhaust pipes. You could clean wheels. The choices are endless with the furry five fingers. So why not pick it up today? Camelguys.com, you can find everything right there. So I'll sink this right in here. I'll let that dwell. Obviously, whenever we add pressure to it, it's going to foam up. But before that, Joey's going to go ahead and just rinse off the interior, exterior, and once everything. everything's done, we're, rinsing everything. we're gonna be showing you guys a foam can. But now, come close. Check out the undercarriage, it's completely dried up. It's phenomenal. It went from that to that. It's dried up, no dressing, no bare bones, no no uh, edits, nothing. It's completely dry, it's completely clean. It's ready for bare bones if you would like to add more shine, more protection, but in this occasion, we went with a clean look, which is just obviously using orange degreaser and Diablo Wood Joe. Rinse it down. So now Joey will pass me the wand. <laughs> the power went to me now. I will remove the pressure washer tip. Catch Joey. Okay. Let, me, let me insert it for you. Pull it back. Let me slide it in. Is it good? Is it snug? All right. <laughs> and that is how easily it is to attach your big mouth Max Freeze foam can. So let's go over tips and tricks on what to do whenever using a big mouth Max Freeze foam can. There is going to be a foam adjustment knob up top. All the way to the left, we're gonna show you guys exactly what type of result to get. Pure water, twist it all the way to the right. You guys can see what type of foam we get now. Thick with two C's. But the beauty about having a Can-Am, you can go ahead and foam up the interior. So we're gonna foam up the interior, exterior, everything. Then once I'm done doing all that, we're gonna get our furry five finger, activate the suds. I want to activate all the suds. We'll start scrubbing it down and getting the nicks and crannies. And then finally after that, it's just simply rinse on the vehicle, dry it up, apply a tire shine, and hit the road. Hit the road, Jack! All right, 
right, guys, so we got done with the fun part, which is the foaming part. Now, now it's just to time scrub. to scrub. I got you from here. I know you've been working hard foaming up the car. I've been having too much so fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and activate the side. So you guys saw Henry uh, apply some Tough Mudder soap into our wash bucket, which is the red one, correct? Correct. One and more the time. Rinse bucket. Red. Blue. Rinse, wash, rinse, wash. Rinse, wash, wash, rinse. Let's get started. So we're going to activate our suds. And now we've activated our suds, we can go ahead and grab our first five finger detailing mitts, Henry, and we can start going to town with wiping down this car. Now, you may be asking why I chose this watchman in particular, Henry. Well, as you can see, this car has a ton of intricate areas, has a lot of curvature. So we're gonna be using the five finger action of the furry five finger to give us that nice deep clean. We can go ahead and just simply wrap our fingers all around these hard to reach areas. It makes life extremely easy. Oh, you're reaching a little too far there, man. All right, we'll meet in the middle. Mm. So this wash mitt's gonna make it extremely easy. That way we can get into all these nooks and crannies. Mm. As you can imagine, trying to get in here with the flat wash mitt, Henry, is gonna be very difficult, right? Yeah, and especially using the dual pile technology. The dual pile technology, I mean, it's just so soft. So soft! So soft. It's so soft to the point where it's super gentle to even use it on the interior ride. Using it on the interior ride, you can use it dry, obviously, to dust off the nooks and crannies, your air vents, and much more, but it always benefits having the right tools, and that's why Camel Guys does a phenomenal job at having tons of different washers because not everybody has the same car as you. Some might have a 2022 Tesla, some might have a 2005 truck, some might even have a 1978 Ford pickup. So every car is different, so why not have the perfect glove for the right technique using Chemical Guys? So, I just finished scrubbing it. Obviously, I'll come back to my rinse bucket. Hey, Joey. Yes. Wash. Rinse. All right, so we'll go to our rinse bucket, scrub it at the bottom of the dirt trap, inspect it, wring it out, get more suds, and keep going around this detail. By doing this around the whole entire detail, especially if you're dealing with very sensitive areas, glossy plastics, and much more, you're going to ensure you don't scratch them because 90% of scratches and swirls actually come from improper washing. So, Joey. Yes. I'm a left-handed. Does this wash mitt work on lefty It suit? works on both hands, Henry. That's the great thing about it. You can probably even fit it on your foot. I haven't tried it, but I highly, <laughs> I highly recommend trying it out. Always make sure that your wash mitt is clean. So you just want to inspect it, make sure that there's no fine debris, any kind of twigs or anything like that maybe lingering on your wash mitt. Give it a nice quick inspection grab some more suds and then continue with washing the rest of your vehicle. And this also applies to any vehicle. This doesn't have to be a side-by-side. -side. Everything that we just talked to you about works on all makes and models. Even a Tesla? Even a Tesla. Even a Camry? Yeah, even your 2005 pickup truck. Even your Camry? Even my Camry. How about a golf cart? Mm, yeah, I guess it'd work on a golf cart. How about a boat? It definitely works on a boat. How about an RV? Definitely works on an RV. How about a helicopter? A helicopter. <laughs> you guys ever heard of a helicopter? <laughs> you hungry or what? Henry? A helicopter. Open the door, Henry. Don't be shy. This is the beauty of having a side by side. You can scrub the inside with water. Can I do this on my truck? No. <laughs> you actually can't. <laughs> we should go off roading. No, not right now. A helicopter. All right guys, so we've already rinsed off the car. Now we're gonna go ahead and dry it off. Now right here, I'm holding our Pro Blow, which is a high-speed professional blower. We're gonna be using this blower to get onto all the nooks and crannies. And then Henry's covering the broad part of the vehicle, like the panels with our Woolly Mammoth drying towel, which works out great for covering large surfaces. We're gonna use the Pro Blow to get the water out from all the hard to reach areas while he does the outside and gets all the large areas. All right guys, so we just finished drying up 
the whole entire Can-Am and now it's just time for the finishing touches which is applying VRP to the tires. Obviously this Can-Am is going into storage so we need to store it away with proper protection so VRP on tires will be perfect. This is a medium duty brush and this is obviously going to help me get into nooks and crannies on these uh, wheels. So simply shake up your choice of dressing, in this occasion it's VRP, add some onto the bristles, I add a very generous amount and then I'll just go to the area and then I'll just work it in back and forth. So here's a pro tip, if you do have nubby tires and you want to get on the, the ridges as well, just go ahead and get a flag tip brush, apply it on there, rub it on. That is how easily and simple it is to, one, dress your tire, but two, obviously protect your tire. All right guys, so as Henry is applying the tire shine with the Wheelworks flag tip brush, I decided to go with a microfiber applicator to cover all these larger panels. As you guys can see right now, I'm applying the VRP to this panel and just check out how much depth and shine it's adding to the surface. So right away, it's, re uh, it's removing that nasty chalky look from the trim and it's making it look nice, deep, black and shiny. But last but not least, it's also protected. So if you're out in the hot summer or maybe you're in the desert somewhere and the sun is just constantly beating on your plastics, that stuff can definitely eat away at your plastics, cause it to look chalky, dry, and crack very prematurely. And with VRP, it keeps your plastics looking great for years to come. And it's extremely easy to use. As you guys can see, I'm just applying a nice even coat. Those six drops that I applied to my applicator are spreading out very nicely. As you guys can see, I've already applied it to the both doors. Now I'm applying it to this pillar right here on the fender. And we can also apply this on interior surfaces, such as the vinyl seats. You can apply this on there as well for added shine and protection. And just for reference, you guys, this right here is what the plastic looked like without VRP, whereas this right here, this has a VRP. So you can tell it looks much richer, has more depth, more shine, and is protected. And last but not least, it's dry to the touch. That way it doesn't attract any kind of dirt or sand onto the surface. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with finishing up all the plastics, and we're gonna show you guys the final results in just a few seconds. Can you say that again but with your best Elon Musk impression? So we're gonna go ahead and finish this right up. And we'll be right back with you guys with the final results. Damn bro, that sounded just like him. How do you honk? How do you honk? Overdrive? No. No. I honked earlier. I was cleaning something though. There's no horn. We're gonna go and we're gonna go drop off this car to Hector's trailer. <laughs> I don't know how to drive this. Go fast. There's our ride. And there you guys have it. That is how easily it is to restore your Can-Am back to how it once looked, how you got it off the lot. Check it out. It's now clean, no longer dirty, and is now protected. So guys, if you guys like this video today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to pick up any of these products that we use in today's video, hop on onto our website called chemicals.com or or visit your local detail garage. If you guys don't know, we have over 90 store locations all throughout the US, UK, and Canada. So make sure to check it out, detailgarage.com. That's Joey, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing Patrick Sean with Chemical Grabs. And that's the owner over there. Woo! Oh, this is amazing, oh my God. I can't wait to get it dirty in four days. Again. <laughs> well, well, now stuff. it's protected, so you won't have to worry about the dirt sticking as much. Look at that Tacoma. That's a pro right there. Joy, do something, bro. Am I on that side? You're good. <laughs>